You want to buy a house, but you don't know how to get started with the process, what to do. You want to buy a house, but you don't have the money for the down payment or the closing costs. You want to buy a house, but your credit score is really low, and you want to know what to do to improve it to get on track. You want to buy a house, but your finances are completely out of control. You have a lot of debt and credit cards, and you just want to get it under control. You want to buy a house, but you don't want to buy a regular house. You want to buy a four-unit building, live in one so you can get help with the rent. You want to buy a house, but you cannot afford anything where you live, right? And so you may have to move out of state or out of the area, or maybe even buy an investment property out of the area and continue to rent where you are. You want to buy a house, but your uh, you're scared, right? You're not sure if you can handle it on your own. In fact, you may even need a co-signer or a co-borrower to join you. And you want to know, how does that work? You own a home already and you want to buy an investment property, but you don't know how to get started. All of these questions and more I can help you with. I got you right here, right now on The Eric Frazier Show. Everybody. Welcome to the Eric Frazier Show. My name is Eric Frazier, where we talk about faith, family, and finance. Today, we're going to be talking about home ownership. My father, God rest his soul, uh, and he wasn't a homeowner until late in life, but he used to say to me, son, listen to me. Eric, just listen to me, man. If you just listen to me, you'll save yourself a whole lot of trouble. My father, you know, he, he had some experiences that he did not want me to have. He made some mistakes that he did not want me to make. He did some things that he did not want me to do. And yet, like many of you, I was hard-headed and I didn't listen. I didn't listen. And as a result of not listening to my father, I made some mistakes. I did some things. I have made some challenges for myself that I could have completely avoided had I just listened to my father. God bless my father. He did the best he could with me, but I was hard-headed. And like many of you listening to this podcast or our television show, uh, I was just you know too smart for my own good, right? I thought I knew everything. I thought that, you know, as a young man, I was even smarter than my parents. And all I did as a result of that mindset was fill my life up to this very day with disappointments and hardships that I could have completely avoided. God bless my father. He did truly the very best he could do with me. But you've got to be willing to be open-minded. You got to be willing to listen to others. And, and sometimes as young people, as young men, especially, especially as we're taken off from home on our own, we really feel like we're Superman and we can take over the world. We can, you know, fly taller than a building, faster than a speeding bullet, but it's simply not true. I look at my life now and I thank God that I have more victories then losses, all right? And so I'm still ahead of the game, but I could have had less losses and more victories had I listened to wise counsel, the wise counsel of my father, of my parents. And there's an old saying that a hard head makes a soft behind. And I have over my short life received many a good old fashioned weapons from not listening to others who are much smarter than I, much more experienced than I, and who are willing to share that information, and in many cases, for free. So as I reflect, uh, just looking back, I really do wish I had listened to my father, but he was not the only one that I didn't listen to. Uh, and this is pride, this is ego, this is having an education, thinking you're smarter than everyone. So guess what? 
everyone that I met with, I thought that I could do that too. You know, oh, okay, well, you know, I could find that out myself. I can research it on my own. So as a result, you know, I didn't listen to my CPA. I didn't listen to my attorney. I didn't listen to some of my teachers, both in my undergrad and master's program. I didn't listen to my insurance agent. I didn't listen to anyone that was a bona fide credentialed expert and save myself a lot of trouble. Unfortunately, we all have this tendency to believe that we know everything and that we don't need any help from anybody. We can figure it out ourselves, we can do it ourselves, uh, we can save ourselves some money, right, and do it ourselves. I'm famous for that in my household, right? So I've tried that in the past. You know, something electrical goes out, I try to fix it. Something with the plumbing goes out, I try to fix it. Something happens in the house, I try to fix it. And of course, what do I end up doing? I end up costing myself more money. First, I go out and buy all this equipment that I'll never use. I, I spend all this money on stuff that is not the right stuff. And then I finally give up on it. And so you count the hours invested in that. I finally give up on it. And then I call someone and then they charge me, right? And so I just pay more, right? And all I had to do is just be real with myself that, Eric, you don't have the time, the knowledge, or the expertise. Why are you even attempting to do this yourself? And I'm telling you, that's the mindset of many people today. And it's unfortunate because they're robbing themselves of the opportunity to get whatever it is they need to get done, get it done now, because the power is now. In fact, the power is not only now, but Tomorrow, that same power, the degree of power, the access, the abilities, the knowledge, all of it could change the next day, the very next day. So the power truly is now. And if the power is now and you don't have the expertise, then you need to get someone who does have that expertise. I think that's why God gave us all parents, right? I mean, we, we, we're born into this world and we don't know how to survive, right? And so we are utterly dependent upon our parents to feed us, clothe us, bathe us, to keep us safe, to guide us, uh, all the way until we're able to do it on our own. And then we realize here we are 18, 21, 25, 30, 35, 40, that we still don't know everything, right? And perhaps our parents are still with us. God bless you if they are. Mine are no longer with me. Uh, then we have fa other family members. We have friends. And then if we don't have family members or friends who are experts in these areas in which we need, then we have to go outside and we have to find the true experts and uh, whatever it is we need done. That's why I believe that God gives us all unique talents and abilities. And as a result of that, he, he really designed this whole world thing, this, this people thing, for us to be connected with one another. I mean, there's certain talents and gifts that I have that you may not have. And there's certain talents and gifts that you have that I may not have. And so as a result of that, we need each other. And so we're made to be connected with each other. We're, we're made to be in relationship with one another uh, because we don't know everything. And so we then seek out others who have the expertise and the skills and the talents that we do not have to help us in achieving our goals, both either individually or collectively to achieve our goals. So today, so why am I sharing all of this with you today? This, uh, this show is about home ownership, right? So, well, let me tell you why. April 25th, 1962, folks, great day. I came into this world. I'm 60 years old. In fact, I'll be 61 very soon. I've been married for 40 years. In fact, it'll be 41 years on the 19th of December. I have raised four children. They're all grown adults. All of them have college degrees, three have master's degrees, and the fourth one is on their way to her master's, and they are all homeowners. I have been at it for a while. I have bought and sold many houses. I've bought and sold and owned many businesses, and even to this day, I'm running businesses still involved in real estate, and I just pray the Lord will bless me to be able to continue to do what I do uh, for many years to come. But I know that my time is coming to an end. And so I'm at this stage in my life where I am, I'm an advisor. 
right? I'm a counselor. I'm the godfather in my family, right? Uh, providing advice and direction. And I love doing that. But I can tell you this, that even after 40 years as a banker, uh, 30 years as an agent, 20 years as a real estate broker, raising kids and owning starting businesses and helping people with real estate, I can seriously tell you right now that I'm still learning from other people. I have advisors that I speak to all the time. You're never too old to learn something new. And even when I think that I have come up with a, a new idea, all it takes is a little bit of research to realize that it's not an original idea, right? I don't think I have an original idea to my credit. And in fact, everything I've ever shared with anyone was either taught to me by a professor or I read about it in a book. And so we are all products of our environment and of our education, of our experiences, which what makes each person so unique and valuable and what they bring to the table. I'm a product of some incredible people that have just uh, changed my life. I mean, from my first coach ever, Coach Peterson in playing football, the man changed my life, uh, showed me something about leadership and being on a team. To all of my teachers, both from grade school, Mrs. Brown, to high school, to college, and to my master's program, I am a product of great educators and teachers and mentors and former bosses that I used to work for, former employers from Home Savings and Washington Mutual and Wells Fargo, uh, and even clients and customers who I meet who have far more than I would ever achieve in my lifetime, and their willingness to share their advice, their information, their life with me, folks. I'm the product of an advanced education, but I can tell you here today that uh, none of it would be possible without, number one, my wife being there to support me and to help me as I grew into a, a man from a boy. Getting married at 19 is no joke. I became married as a boy, and through marriage over time became a man and a father and a husband. And so that's another thing too, it, it, it takes time. You're born into this world, uh, you're, you're constantly learning and there's no point in which you're going to stop. And so I want to encourage you to surround yourself by people that are just plain smarter than you are, lived a little bit longer than you have, doing things perhaps that you want to do. You want to become a homeowner? You know, talk to an existing homeowner. You want to become an investor? Get to know investors in real estate. You want to have great credit? Well, talk to your friends or family members who have great credit and ask what are they doing to, well, how did they achieve it and what are they doing to maintain it? You need to surround yourself by wise counselors. And the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 14, and this is the King James Version, my favorite version, by the way, where no counsel, the people fail, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. In chapter 15, verse 22, without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. We all need to be established surrounded by wise counselors that we can go to to get advice and directions on what to do to change our life, to improve our life, to make, the, make a difference in our life and for our family. It is not going to come on high from some divine funnel into your brain. It is not going to happen that way. You're going to have to receive the information and you got to be open and willing to receive the information in the spirit in which it is given uh, to help you uh, make this journey called life and achieve all the things that you can achieve if you're given the right advice. So if you agree with me, let me start first with giving you some advice. Now, we started off this show with the first point, and that is you want to buy a house, but you don't know even how to get started with the process. You just know you need to buy a house and you need to buy a house right now. So here's what you do. Go to www.buyhomeseminars.com. Buyhomeseminars.com. And on that landing page, you're going to see several things. First, you're going to see a video from me. 
listen to that video, you're going to see about several red buttons. One of those buttons is information about homeownership. Another button is where you can schedule an appointment to meet with me. But most importantly, there's a button to apply. Apply. And when you apply, just know that it's not going to take more than 10 minutes of your time. Five minutes at the most. The record is like five minutes. I mean, you set up an account, you complete the online application, and you're done. Five minutes. And then the next step is to go back to the homepage where you'll then upload about five things. First, a copy of your driver's license. And then we're going to need a copy of your pay stubs for the last 30 days. And then we're going to need a copy of your tax returns, just your federal tax returns for the last two years. And then we're going to need a copy of your bank statements for the last two months. And if you happen to be self-employed, we may need your uh, business tax returns, 1120s or 1065s, whether you're a corporation or a partnership, we may need that information. Uh, and then uh, perhaps a letter of explanation. What do you want to do, right? Up, write a letter, upload it to us and explain to us what your uh, goals are. What are you trying to achieve? Where do you want to buy? Where do you want to live? I'm talking 10 minutes max between the application and providing that documentation. And most of us have all of that information online. That's what you need to do. That's the first step. And by doing so, you'll be able to then uh, see firsthand what your FICO score is, what your purchasing power is. You'll be able to meet with me and we can look at everything together, analyze your income, analyze your debt and come up with a solution and provide you with the direction you need to move forward. So that's what you need to do. You wanna buy a home, but you don't know how to get started. Schedule a time with me, buyhomeseminars.com. Number two, you wanna buy a house, but you don't have any money for a down payment or closing costs. And so, how do you make that happen, right? Because you're hearing all the times, buy a house with no money down, no closing costs, right? Well, it's true. You can actually buy a house with no money down and no closing costs to have to be paid. Either you can get the down payment assistance or you can get the closing cost assistance. And sometimes the seller of the property may be willing to provide you the assistance. So what do you need to do? The first step is to go to www.buyhomeseminars.com, all right? And then you'll, again, download the great information there about the home buying process, great information there. And then to schedule a time to meet with me and complete the online application, same process, takes five minutes to complete the application, another five minutes to upload everything. You'll schedule a time to meet with me after we have everything together. And I'm going to show you where the money is, folks. There is money. There are programs. There's a California Housing Finance Agency in California. Uh, there's a Golden State Finance Authority in California. There's a Homeownership Council of America, and they're in just about, about 40 or 45 different states providing money. In fact, there are housing finance agencies in just about every state providing money. And I'm going to show you how to get the money. And I'm going to tell you what the guidelines are to get the money. Now, let me tell you right now, though. If your FICO score isn't at least 620, then you're not going to be eligible for any of these programs. And so better yet, you should just schedule a time to talk with me so we can talk about your credit. That brings me to number three. You want to buy a house, but your credit score is too low. And you want to know what can I do to improve my credit score so I can qualify for a home loan. Not just even the home loan, but I can qualify for down payment assistance. Well, let me tell you what you got to do. Go to buyhomeseminars.com, buyhomeseminars.com. And there you'll find the online calendar to schedule a time with me. That's what I want you to do. Schedule a time with me. I also want you to apply because if your only issue is the FICO score, right? If that's your only issue, you have the job, you have the income, perhaps you even have some money in the bank just your FICO score is not high enough, well, you might be surprised that your FICO score could be high enough. The scores that you look at are based on FICO score model 8, 9, or 10. They're consumer credit reports, whereas banks, we run FICO score model 4 or 5. It's a report and a FICO score that you don't even have access to. You won't even know what it is unless you apply for a mortgage loan through a mortgage bank. And so I want you to apply. Go to 
Again, buyhomeseminars.com. You'll see apply now button there. Apply, complete the application in detail, provide all your documentation so we can make sure that at least you can qualify to buy a home. And if you can qualify to buy the home and the only thing that is stopping you is 10, 20, 30 points and a FICO score, man, that's time for us to celebrate because we can get that handled in 90 days. Worst case, maybe six months. It just depends on what it is. And so I'm going to set you up with some free resources to get your credit score up. And if you have some serious challenges, I have some fee-based resources as well, because it may take time that you don't have, and you need to hire a professional to handle that for you. And it's a good idea. Or depending on your circumstances, you just may need some professional uh, personal financial coaching, and I can set you up with that as well. Again, go to buyhomeseminars.com. Number four, you want to buy a house, but your finances are out of control. I mean, you have a lot of debt, student loan debt, car payments. You've got your checking account is out of whack, NSFs and overdrafts, and you, you're just not managing your money like you should, and you make plenty of money, but there's no real management of your money. You don't have a budget uh, and you don't even really have any goals. And so what you need to do, the first thing you need to do is go to www.buyhomeseminars.com. Download their free resources there. Schedule a time to meet with me. All right. And you want to meet with me first. Forget about applying uh, online uh, for the home loan right now. All right. Let's just get together and have a conversation. I would love to talk to you, especially, you know, I meet a lot of young people, especially making $100,000, $150,000, $200,000 a year, and they have no money in the bank. They just spend, 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 and they have no goals, no budget, no anything. And so I'm going to talk to you about your financial situation. Now, if you want to apply, feel free to apply. I'll go to applytobuynow.com, or better yet, it's right there on the website. Feel free to apply at buyhomeseminars.com and complete the application, upload all your documentation. Because there is a possibility that even with your lack of control and, and just no budget, you still may earn enough income and you may have high enough FICO scores that in spite of you not managing your finances well, you can still buy. So the decision is yours, right? But we should have a conversation, again, buyhomeseminars.com. And what I'm gonna recommend is personal financial coaching. Uh, there are free personal financial coaching programs, there's free budget programs, and then there are fee-based personal financial coaching where someone will help you set everything up and then hold you accountable to get it done and get yourself in a position to buy a home. You're making way too much money and spending way too much money in taxes not to be a homeowner. So go to buyhomeseminars.com and get it done today. Number five, you are a first-time home buyer. You've got great income, good credit, but you literally cannot afford to buy anything where you live, right? You're working in a high-cost, high-rent district. You're already paying close to three grand a month, maybe more in rent, right? You're professional, good income, good credit. And so you're thinking, okay, I'm just going to rent. No, don't think that. Don't think that at all. Think this. I'm not going to rent. I make enough money where I can buy something somewhere. I'm not going to leave this state and go to some tornado, a flood-driven area. I'm going to stay right here in old sunny California, and I'm just going to buy something in Texas or Detroit or, or Washington, anywhere else but California where it's more affordable. I can show you how to do that, and it's really easy to do. You'd be surprised, folks, if you go to thepowerisnow.com and then scroll down on the menu bar and you'll see HUD Homes, HUD Magazine, right? We publish a HUD Homes Magazine for every HUD. Pro These are foreclosed properties by the federal government. HUD Homes, FHA loans that have went into foreclosure, they're now on the market. And folks, our magazine is almost 400 pages. There are more and more properties coming on the market. After a certain period of time uh, that goes by, an investor can buy those properties. We're talking about properties that are selling for as little as $30,000, $50,000.
$100,000. As an investor, you need at least 20% down. So add in closing costs and some other upfront expenses. You should have at least 25 to 30% is what you need to have, all right? Plus at least a 640 to 680 FICO score as an investor. And so, yes, you buy something in another state and you make sure you buy it right so that there's income and that income now is going to help you pay the rent you are until your income gets high enough where you can afford to buy where you work or where you live. So I can help you with that. What you need to do is go to www.buyhomeseminars.com. You want to schedule an appointment with me. You want to click on the button to apply, complete the application, five minutes, go to the homepage, upload all the financials that I told you about, five minutes, right? And then wait for the appointment, right? In the meantime, my team will be communicating with you, uh, making sure we have everything, getting you pre-approved. And then I'm going to connect you with real estate professionals in the areas where these opportunities exist. I'm connected with every HUD listing broker, with every real estate agent in every single state of this union. I have either a direct connect or I know that agent personally, or I know an agent who knows that agent, or I just have them in a directory of agents that represent certain areas uh, that my clients are interested in. So I'm gonna be your resource to connect you to the right person who can make this happen. Number six, you own a home already. And that's the only property you own. In fact, the home may be paid off even or almost paid off. And you have no other assets, good job, good credit, low debt or no debt. And all you have is one property. You're 45, you're 55, you're 65, you're 75. You may even be 95. I have an uncle who purchased a million dollar home two years ago. And he's a hundred and he will be a hundred and one in December. All right. So you never are too old to start buying real estate. And did he need to buy this mini mansion out in Brentwood, California? No, he did not need to do that. But why did he do it? Because he believes in building wealth. And he's been around long enough to know there was a time in this country where he couldn't even own real estate. And so if you own a home already and you're thinking about investing in real estate, but you don't really know how to get started, I can help you. All right. I can help you. First thing I'm going to do is have you consider helping your children. You have grandkids and you have, you know, you have, you have your own children who don't own a home and you're in a position to help them. So consider co-signing for your children to buy a home. Consider also buying investment properties and not just single family homes, but you can leverage the equity in your home and use that money to purchase a four unit building. One four unit building just about everywhere, all four units are gonna generate somewhere between eight to 10 grand a month, more than enough money to pay the mortgage on that after the down payment. You're looking at cash flow every month to you of three, four, five thousand dollars a month, again, depending on the rents on the property. And it's so easy to do. I'm telling you, 30 minutes with me, I'm gonna change your life. You're gonna be shocked. You're gonna think, why didn't I know this? Why didn't someone share this with me years ago? I could have four or five four unit properties. Not only that, but Let's say you are a, a first-time home buyer and you don't want to buy a single-family home, right? You want to buy a four-unit property. Well, if you are a first-time home buyer and you're going to live in that property, then you can get in if you're a veteran with no money down. If you are a first-time home buyer using FHA, you can buy this property with only three and a half percent down. And in many cases, especially now, the seller will cover your closing costs, which is another 3%. And you live in that one unit and the rents from the other three units will be more than sufficient to not only cover the mortgage, but put another 500 to thousand dollars in your pocket. And folks, it is easy to do. Uh, and these properties are readily available and they're in all 50 states, but most people don't know about it. So, and number six, again, you own a home already, 
consider helping out your family members. You can't take that house with you. Why not leave a boatload of real estate for your children and for your grandchildren? If you're a first time home buyer and you don't want to buy a single family home, you know, I'm reminded of a client, single mother, four kids came to me, wanted to buy a four unit, wanted to buy a single family home. And I gave her the idea of buying a four unit property. And she didn't even know it was possible. And then here she goes, she, she looks at the numbers, she understands it because one of her challenges was that she didn't really want to buy a home on her own. I mean, she's not a single mother with four kids on purpose. You know what I'm saying? She really wanted a partner to do it with. And so, but by buying a four unit property, she was able to have three partners, right? Three other renters paying the mortgage. Fast forward, she purchased this building for 800,000. Today it's worth $1.4 million. When she moved in day one, her cash flow was about less than $1,000, about $800 a month. Today, her cash flow is close to almost $3,000 a month. And she's getting ready to buy another one. And when she does that, the rent on the unit she's living in will bring in another, say, $2,500 to $3,000. So just on this one building, she'll have cash flow of close to six grand a month. And that doesn't include the cash flow she's going to get when she moves into another four unit building and run that play all over again. Folks, uh, I have done this for many people. You can talk to them if you will like. I, this, is, this is real. You can do it. You really can. What's the key though? You need a wise counselor. You need a mortgage advisor. You need someone who's going to show you the ins and outs and tell you exactly what you need to do. A wise man is surrounded by many counselors. Please consider me one of your wise counselors to add to your team. Everybody has a team. We all have teams of people in our family or in our inner circle. We have accountants. We have CPAs. We have bookkeepers, we have insurance agents, real estate brokers, we have attorneys, we have medical doctors, uh, we have coaches, we have all kinds of people in our life that we have been working with for years. And they have the expertise, they have the knowledge, they have the credentials, they have all of that. And as a result of that, and their years of experience, you're comfortable with them and helping you make decisions uh, in your life. And so please consider this video as my application for employment on your team as a mortgage advisor. I can advise you on the ins and outs of financing real estate, whether it be investment properties or super jumbo multi-million dollar properties or income properties, one to four unit residential or commercial properties. I can advise you. I'm also a licensed real estate broker in the state of California. My license number is 0114384. I've been a licensed broker for 20 years and agent for 30 years. So I know real estate and I know lending. I have a master's uh, in business administration with an emphasis in finance. And so I love numbers. I'm in a position to help you. Uh, please consider working with me. You can find all of this information on my LinkedIn. And if you go to buyhomeseminars.com, there you'll find a click button, uh, a link uh, to click on my LinkedIn profile. Please connect with me there. You can check out my credentials. You can also go to thepowersnow.com. And at the footer of the website, the company, click there. You can see additional information about me. Please connect with me as soon as possible as I am only just one person. And so I obviously have limited capacity and the number of people I can work with. And for those of you who know me already, you know this, that my calendar fills up very quickly. And so go to buyhomeseminars.com, download my mobile app, download the other resources, schedule a time to meet with me, complete the online application. Let's meet, let's get started. The power is now folks to buy real estate, to build wealth, to change your life, to get on track. Why not start now building the momentum so you move into 2023 uh, with speed and with you know gravity pulling you forward and not holding you back, making your dreams of homeownership and building wealth in real estate come true. I am so looking forward to meeting all of you who are watching this video or listening to the podcast. Please share this video like us on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. I'm also on TikTok. Follow me there, like me on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, go to our website, thepowerisnow.com 
and subscribe for our magazines. We have incredible magazines. Watch our TV shows and our, listen to our podcasts. The Power Is Now Media is a great resource for anyone looking to build wealth uh, and, and, and in real estate and to buy uh, their first home. It's just an incredible resource. And I'm so proud to be the president and CEO of The Power Is Now Media. Thank you for watching. Remember, we are at our best and we maximize our success when we act now. The power is now. Thank you for watching The Eric Frazier Show. Thank you.